of fortune. Long ago there was a proud king who had a beautiful daughter but she was a child of ill luck. It was time to get her married. All the suitors assembled before the king's palace. She would throw down a ball of red silk among the suitors and whoever caught it would be her husband. Now there were many princes and counts who had gathered before the palace. Among them there was also a beggar. The princess saw dragons crawling into his ears and crawling out again from his nostrils. This means that he was a child of luck. So she threw the ball to the beggar and he caught it. The king asked angrily, Why did you throw the ball into the beggar's hands? He is the fortune's favorite, said the princess. I will marry him and then I will have a share in his good luck. Living in Hardship The king could not tolerate this but the princess insisted. Angrily, he drove her out of the palace. So the princess had to leave the palace with the beggar. She had to live in a small hut with the beggar and search for herbs and roasts which she had to cook herself. At times they had nothing to eat and had to sleep hungry. One day the beggar said to her, I will go out and seek my fortune and when I have found it, I will come back again and take you along with me. The princess agreed and he went away and had gone for 18 years. In the meantime, the princess lived poorly and in hardship. Her father remained cruel and hard-hearted. It was her mother who gave her food and money secretly, else the princess would have died of starvation. The Emperor Through the years, the beggar found his fortune and became the emperor. He returned and came to meet his wife. She did not recognize him. She only knew that he was the powerful emperor. The emperor asked her how she was getting along. Why do you ask me how am I getting along? She replied. I am too far beneath your notice, the emperor asked her. And who is your husband? My husband was a beggar. He went away to seek his fortune. That was 18 years ago and he has not yet returned. When the emperor asked her what she had been doing all these years, she said that she waited for him to return. Then the emperor asked her, Do you wish to marry someone else, as he had been missing for such a long time? She refused and wanted to wait for her husband. The Child of Ill Luck When the emperor saw how faithful his wife was, he revealed the truth and told her who he was. He gave her beautiful clothes and took her to the palace with him. Now, they lived in a luxury and happiness. After a few days, the emperor said to his wife, We enjoy and have fun every day, as if every day is a festival. The wife smiled and said that it was right to celebrate each day as they were now the emperor and the empress. Still, she was a child of ill luck. Just 18 days passed after she had become the empress. She felt sick and died. However, her husband, who was the favorite of the fortune, lived for many years. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.